guys welcome back to another video of Nia Creative Home uh, for today's video I will talk about the patterns how to use it why it is important and so on let's get started I understand that uh, choosing and having patterns in your design can be overwhelming sometimes stressing and sometimes you are a little bit, a little bit afraid of using patterns because Okay, I don't want the, my, my, my space or my room to look overwhelming because of so many uh, and because of the intensity of some patterns. So that's why I'm here to explain you how to use it and make you feel less stress and less uh, concern about uh, patterns. Patterns are, are an important element of interior design uh, and can add interest and personality to your to any room but it is important to balance them with solid colors for example so the so that the, the room is not overwhelming with so many much patterns at, at least if you don't want to, the room to to feel so so powerful because patterns bring that powerful uh feeling so mix the patterns with solid color to balance it in your space, in your room. Please keep that in mind. When it comes to uh, incorporate patterns into your decoration, uh, it's important to keep in mind that the overall style that you want to achieve with that, um, with that incorporation of patterns. For example, uh, if you want to have something more traditional, like a traditional look, then you're probably gonna use patterns uh, more floral, floral, for example, or stripes. If you want something more contemporary, then probably you're gonna use um, patterns, pattern design like with geometric forms, uh, with bold colors, or with abstract design to filling uh, your decoration. Another, another great way to incorporate patterns into your room uh, is by using artwork or decorate, uh, decorative elements uh, or objects. For instance, you can hang a gallery wall with a mix of pattern and solid uh, colored frames, for example, so, so, that, so that the design is not, you don't feel that the design is too much. You have like the prints are patterns, but then the frames are solid, uh, colors it, they don't have to be bold as the print as the pattern that you have on the artwork for example you can even display plates on the wall you can display vases or you can have like vases around your space with intricate patterns uh, on your bookshelves on your mantle you name it you can use the uh, uh, patterns around your house, like from bottom to top, but don't overwhelming. Don't overwhelm the space. Don't use it too much. If that's something that will make you feel like the space is too heavy. You can use patterns on your pillows. You can use patterns on your blankets. You can use patterns on your duvet covers. You can use patterns on your sheets. You can use patterns on the vases artwork, decorative elements, or, um, paintings. There are a bunch of different options to use patterns. But let me break it down a little bit for you. To incorporate a pattern design into your decoration, uh, starting by choosing the color scheme that you want to use, uh, or and then select pat uh, patterns that complement each, each other, for example. Or you can use a color scheme for for um, for instance if you have a painting that is a pattern you can use that that pattern that color scheme on that uh, paint to create the the color scheme for the room not overwhelming but you can use it in some subtle uh, touches around your space. You don't need to be bold and use a lot of colors. You, you, you use what suits for you, what makes sense to you, and the type of space that you are creating. Mixing and matching patterns can create a vibrating uh, design, but balance them with each other so that 
you don't overwhelm the space. I'm always touching this point, like don't overwhelm the space, don't overwhelm the space. Because if you overwhelm the space, the space will look so heavy. And instead of having something that is relaxing and and the, the design is smooth, no, you have something so heavy that you cannot stand there for a long period of time. Unless that is space that you don't use it in a long period of time, be careful and balance the patterns with the solid colors. Let me give you some points that needs to be touched to create a cohesive and balanced look. First of all, start with a neutral base using a neutral color palette uh, as a foundation of the room will allow you to be more flexible when you're choosing the patterns, creating a sense of depth and visual interesting interest in your space. Use texture to balance patterns. You don't need to, to have everything plain. You can mix and match the texture, different type of textures and textures doesn't mean that the like doesn't mean that you have like texture like this, for example, in a pillow. No, texture means materials that have different texture like wood, like metal. They have different texture on there, on those uh, pieces of furniture and on those pieces of decoration. So mix the, the texture with the pattern to create a smooth environment. Consider the style of the room. Always think about the style that you want to achieve uh, with the room uh, before you choose the type of patterns that you want to use. And not just that. Think about the size of the space. If it is a small space, don't put too much uh, patterns. That doesn't have, doesn't make any point because you only gonna the the result will always always going to be the spacing the space looking even smaller if you put too much patterns inside of a small uh, room, for example. You can still use it on a small room, but use just in some points of the decoration. Remember, patterns can be a powerful tool in your interior design, but it is important to use them in moderation uh, and with the intention to create an harmonious uh, and visual appealing space. Remember, there is no right or wrong when you are choosing patterns uh, in your decoration. So don't be afraid to experiment with patterns. Just use them in, in a balanced way. Think about the style that you want to create. Think, uh, uh, create, for example, uh, start with the base pale color and add the texture or use the texture as a color scheme. But always think about the size of the space. It is really important. Let's analyze some image to give you guys some examples and some ideas to use patterns so that so that you don't are so afraid of using. Patterns can create a, a fun uh, decoration. Let's get started. As I, as I mentioned before, in this first image you have something more traditional, the use of flowers, but always with that uh, solid color on the back of the image. This other one for me is more contemporary, it has flowers too, but has different type of flowers, always with that solid color, but it's something less uh, traditional and more contemporary, more modern. I love this pattern, this pattern is so beautiful. For me, when I think about this pattern, when I look at this pattern, I think about fun, I think about spring, it is a beautiful pattern. This other one is something more contemporary, more uh, using of the geometric shapes. It's simple, plain, but will look amazing in a pillow, in a rug, for example. I would love to use that, uh, that design. Here you have different types of patterns that can be used in tiles. Patterns can be used in tiles on the walls, on the floors, too. On this other image here, you have the vases with some patterns incorporated on the vase. This is a smooth way to incorporate patterns on your decoration without overwhelming the space and without overwhelming you too. This other image is, uh, like I mentioned, the, the plates on the wall with different types of 
patterns. Looks amazing, look chic, looks clean, and it gives um, that touch of joy and um, playful look too. I love this idea too. It's amazing. And it is enough for you use, for example, patterns just on that those placing and you don't have to overwhelm the space with some other patterns or or you can use on the vase like you have here in this image. Here in this image, you have patterns on the walls, on the wallpaper, you have patterns on the rugs and patterns on the pillows. For me, it doesn't overwhelm the space because it is open space, it has uh, a lot of natural light and you are uh, matching, like I mentioned, the patterns with solid colors and with different textures. You have the, the, the table that is made of uh, wood, that's a different texture, that, will, that matching with the patterns and matching with the solid colors and the natural light creates a cohesive and harmonious um, and balanced design. Like I said before, you can use patterns inside of the cabinets to, to give them that extra personality to, to make them more funky. <laughs> I love this idea. I think they look amazing. You don't need to, to have something so bold. You can have some light patterns too. But this one looks amazing. I love it. You can do that yourself. You don't need to buy a furniture with the patterns or the, with the, wall, the wallpaper on the back you can you do yourself you can choose the pattern that suits your style the pattern that suits your space you can uh have someone to design your patterns to, to design the wallpaper to put on the back of your cabinet too and they look amazing i love this idea on this other one uh the the patterns are more bold has a little bit of a classic uh vibe for me but the, the piece of furniture looks amazing. And again, you mix patterns with texture. You have the wood, you have the material that um, mix it with the pattern, create a balanced look too. It looks amazing, I love it. And it's a beautiful, strong, um, with a big statement piece of furniture, it looks amazing. Here, for example, is something more smooth, something more light, something more relaxing. You have tones of uh, pink and uh, blues, light pinks, light blues, and they have patterns, but it's not overwhelming. You just have the patterns on the, the pillows and on the big rug. Something smoother, but looks beautiful and is um, balanced too in the space. This other one image I love because you have the, this color scheme, it's beautiful. You have the pinks, you have the greens, then you mix with a different texture. You have the, the marble, I think it's a marble table, and then you have the blanket, you have the flowers. Everything like mixing them together, the, the, the patterns, the solid colors, and the texture, and the different, the different materials makes the, the, the space look looking uh, balanced and beautiful and clean. This is a place that I would love to hang out with my, with my friends or just by myself, chilling, reading a book. Looks amazing. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, and on this other one, you already have the, the pattern on the floor, on the rug. The rug is beautiful. And then you have in some pillows and then you have on the plates on the wall, like I mentioned, on the other image. You have tones, uh, more earthy tones. I love this combination of color. Uh, and you can tell that is the, the colors are combining, the colors of the rug, for example, is combining with the materials, is combining with the pillows and the different pieces of furniture. They work together and that's really important. On this bathroom, you have patterns on the walls and in the floor and it is the same pattern doesn't overwhelm the space makes the the bathroom looking fun uh and a great place to be too i love this and you have the different textures in this case not just the the materials that are different but the texture of the furniture per se are different and that combining with the texture makes the space look looking beautiful and um, the, arc, the, the environment is cohesive and it's really 
for me it's a beautiful beautiful bathroom on the, this other bathroom is something more simple but you have the tiles with the pattern on the floor and that's it you don't need to 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 use too much pattern if you don't want but you can tell just because of that floor that floor makes a statement just the floor makes a statement just the floor makes the 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 space looking amazing and then you have the different uh materials the metal the black metal there and then you have the the wood and then you have the white ceiling and white wall and then you have the curtains everything's combining makes the 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 space looking beautiful and not overwhelming just because you have that bold um floor doesn't mean that the rest of the space needs to be too big and it needs to go that further just the floor makes a big statement and makes um the the environment visually appealing it looks amazing too i love this bathroom it's really cute i love it uh on this last image i have here on the back on the bedroom you have what the pillows you have the blanket and you have the curt uh, the sorry the 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 rug combine it with that metal of the of the lighting and with the wood of the of the bed what can i say this this bedroom bedroom looks uh makes me feel like i wanted to sleep there makes me feel like i'm in a, this countryside house uh, surrounded by nature. That's the feeling that I have with this incorporation of patterns and the materials. As you can tell, patterns is not something that you need to be overwhelming, but overwhelmed by. It. It's not something that you need to be scared. You can. It is great to use patterns to, as I mentioned, to create something visually appealing and something that combining with texture, with the lighting, with solid color, can create of a, a balanced uh, decoration and can give an interest to your decorations too. So don't be afraid, try to use different patterns, use on the walls, use on the floor, use on decoration elements. Um, always think about the size of the space when you're choosing, when you are using patterns. If it is a small space, don't use too much, really consider where you're going to use the patterns. If it is a wide space or a larger space, then you can go bolder uh, with the use of patterns. Especially if you have like natural light, like tons of natural light, even better. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As usual, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, uh, share this video with your friends, with your family, with everybody that you know that will benefit with this video. Save this video on your playlist. Um, if you want to see something more like this, if you want to, for me to bring other topics, um, other specific elements of the interior design, let me know uh, on the comment side down below. I will be thrilled to answer you guys. Um, let's build this community. Let's let's create a, a beautiful, harmonious, and balanced uh, design that suits your lifestyle, that suits your needs, and that suits your personality. I hope I'm helping you guys to create that type of environment, that nest or that space for you. Take care, as usual. Bye, people.